What's happening guys? Quick video today. I have a bunch of clients today, like five or six. Just wanted to get a quick video out today about basically taking action and rehearsing your reality. Okay, let's go. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yeah. I'm inspired. Yeah. Hey there guys, how's it going? My name is Sumit Chatterjee from the Flow Zone Academy and I'm a flow state coach, a flow state catalyst, which means I help you feel better and perform better. I'm also author of the book TPM, The Atroplasticity Method. If you'd like, go get it on Amazon, okay? Today I'm talking about rehearsing your reality, which is something that I talk about in this book as well. So the version of you that has the life that you want has specific behaviors, has specific behaviors, the way that they take action, the way that they behave. So you need to slowly merge with those behaviors because the behaviors you're exhibiting right now are matching up to that reality of the ideal you, the ideal self, the higher mind, the higher self, okay? So I want you to imagine like, let's say five years from now or, or whenever you want to give yourself that timeline shift that you get to your peak, your, your utmost uh, level that you want. What am I going to say if someone asks me this in an interview? Have a list of interview questions and see if you can answer those interview questions from that reality that's already accomplished the things that you have, that you want, that you prefer, right? And this will change your mindset and it will slowly also start to change. Basically, this will tell your subconscious mind that that is what I want. But you're telling your subconscious mind that's not what I want because sometimes we take contradictory actions towards what we actually want. The more you act like him or her in that reality, the more you will slowly meet that reality. When something bad happens, you don't automatically say this is a bad thing you try and perceive it and conceive it as a joyful event. You try and see through it and see beyond it. You ask yourself, what is beautiful about this? What have I learned about this? How is this gonna amplify my life? You see, uh, my mentor AZD last night, he's talked about Viktor Frankl, man, and that example of like, how he was gonna get executed, he was fully naked, right? his own wife get killed and raped, he, he saw his son die, you know? He, he, he's completely at the lowest of the low at this point, right? And he's going to get executed and he has this thought in his mind that I am more free than the guards there, the executioners there, because they have to do these certain things and they're almost forced to do that. Whereas I have a choice, I'm free, I have nothing to lose. And this nothing to lose mentality is really, really powerful and it's gonna give you fulfillment of your vision. That's what taking action is. Taking action is fulfillment of your vision. You're a physical being, which means as you tap into the flow state, right? You're demonstrating to the higher mind that you're dedicated to that particular state of being. So the more you do that, the more you tap in, the more it starts to merge with your natural, your norm. That's why it feels so easy to be in the flow. You call it the path of least resistance because you're, you're staying in your lane. You're a dolphin swimming with the other dolphins. You're doing your thing. You're in your lane, okay? You're not an aardvark trying to be a chihuahua. That's weird, okay? Why are you trying to suddenly shift into a different lane? You can get inspired by the chihuahua's way that it, you know, he or she wags its tail. But at the same time, you don't have to get attached to that and get don't get into this cloning mentality because they're already cloning people. You already know this, okay? Maybe there's not that much proof, but I, I believe in my heart of hearts that they're cloning people, man. It's very obvious. Like you look at some of these celebrities and they look very different, okay? Cloning or maybe plastic surgery, whatever it is, man. It's, it's like you can tell, right? So don't be a clone. That's the thing. Don't be a clone. Instead, clone your higher self. Clone that version of you in the future so that you can get powers and superpowers and cities from that version of you. Because so that version of you has the life that they want as a lifestyle that they want. maybe that's the authentic you and the version you're being now is fake you see that's what i like to say because a lot of people when they go on this process they're like oh i'm trying to be confident dude i'm not cocky i'm manifesting right i'm speaking out into the physical reality of what i prefer and that is my truth and i'm claiming it and to others who are maybe not so confident or not used to boldness or maybe has a, a very you know modest culture things like this that looks brash and braggadocious and like trying to impress and like uh, vulgar or, 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 or these different terms, right? And so that has nothing to do with me, but everything to do with them and their own belief systems, their own BS. 
more you take action, the more you experience the process, you will get more gifts. But also understand one thing, the more you experience the process, you will feel more capability over that process, which helps you gain in confidence, right? Your competence builds your comp confidence and vice versa. Because a lot of people, we aren't grateful for many things. We don't forgive others. We hold grudges. We suppress our emotions. We repress what's happening. And we feel all this gunk, this storage unit of things happening to us right it's in the storage unit it's in the memory and these things are happening to us unconsciously actually the more flow state you can get into the more synchronicity you will experience why is that synchronicity or coincidence which is a math term coincide with something perfect timing perfect uh fitting in perfect closure right synchronicity is the inner space-time realization that we are all one right that everything is connected well, I was just thinking about, I was just dreaming about a dog today, and now I see a dog at work. What's going on, right? And you start thinking, oh, that's ridiculous, it's just a coincidence or whatever, but then you keep seeing it, and you keep seeing it. And these other worlds just keep smacking you in the face with these signs and symbols, right? And at a certain point, you go, wait, this, this is not real, right? This is not, and my, of course, you have a skeptical mind like I have a skeptical mind. But I have had many experiences in life that has shaped and chiseled away at my skeptical mind to make me actually believe that there is something out there. There is some energy out there that you can tap into. That is this, we have this prana inside, right? And a prana outside. So what is that prana outside? What is that Tao? What is that life force energy that moves as nature moves? That moves as harmoniously, that keeps the, the natural order of things going. Path of least resistance is the shortest, quickest, easiest path, man. So that's what people say when they mean that, oh, it's easy. It's easy for them. What is your strengths? What are you good at? What is naturally your passion, your highest, most excitement? You gotta follow that. You gotta go into that. You gotta take the action, then you'll get the downloads. It's not that I'm gonna get some downloads first and then I will take action if the downloads are correct, no. You're doing this backwards. You take the action, you get the downloads afterwards. It's like a little reward. Just like a rehearsal, you make it as real as it is for you in the now. I remember, this is a very personal story, a bit cringe, but you make sure you're 18 and older watching this, you know what I mean? Um, when I lost my virginity, I actually Im imagined, okay, in my mind, how it would run down and how it would be. And, and I ended up manifesting it. No joke, that was no lie. I have my own tech, right? I can't share everything with you, but that's kind of what I did. And also, also, the thing is I tricked my physical mind. What I did also was that I remember that I put a four-leaf clover. It was a three-leaf clover, but I stuck an extra fourth leaf on the clover to make myself perceive that I had good luck. So every time I'd walk past my door, I'd see this four-leaf clover. Also, four is my life path number, right? So it gave me this weird, like, synchronicity effect or this subconscious hacking that was going on that made me feel lucky. It just made me feel blessed and lucky, you know? All the, the things were happening great. But then I, I reached this phase where I was like, man, I need to change my approach to life. I'm doing things in a similar way and everything's good and happy and joyful and high vibration, but everything that goes up must come down, right? And I crashed right after that point. So everything was blissful and great, right? Going on an upward tilt. But then I used the, the kind of the underdog effect to, to go back down so I can chase that high again of climbing up to the top and, you know, getting to where I wanted to go again. So you gotta watch out for your self-sabotaging loops like this, my friends. And I'm teaching you using my own storyline, obviously, but you guys have your own storyline. So what is that reality of you that you truly wish to step into? Anyway, guys, I gotta get going. Have an amazing day. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. Remember to rehearse your reality. Make your life your rehearsal. You will never be the same again. Let's go.